Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Mr. Doctor Who Van 13 here once again, bringing you another Doctor Who DVD review. And today we're going to be taking a look at The Brain of Morbius. Now, last time we did a, we looked at Twin Dilemma, today we're looking at The Brain of Morbius, requested by Paul Clancy, the legend. So thank you, Paul Clancy, the legend, for requesting me to review this DVD. If you want to make a request yourself, just post a um, I'll post a link in the description to my Doc 2 DVD collection of July 2014, as well as Paul Clancy the Legends channel. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. So, to start out with, we have uh, the old BBC DVD logo up here because it was released before 2010. Doctor Who, The Brain of Morbius, and. On this cover right here, we just have the Doctor in the middle, Morbius, or the brain of Morbius, beneath him. We've got loads of stuff on this cover right by the way. We've got Morbius at the left, and that scientist who's helping him at the right. Got lightning strikes and tons of stuff in the background. I think that's the sisterhood of Khan at the left, who would return for the night of the Doctor. Uh, it's rated PG, it's from the Tom Baker years, 1974 to 81. Then on the spine, we have Doctor Who, The Brain of Morbius, blah blah blah, BBC to entertain, Tom Baker, all that jazz. <laughs> then on the back, we have pictures, we have Morbius there, attacking that scientist, I think it's from episode 3 or 4. Uh, the Doctor sitting down with that head. Uh, I've forgotten who, what they are now, we got, but those two guys. The Sisterhood of Khan and the Doctor and Sarah Jane, I think, right there. So, Doctor Who, The Brain of Morbius, starring Tom Bacon by Robin Bland. <laughs> Since his name's Robin Bland, you're expecting this story to be bad, right? Well, more on that later. Uh, the Time Lords have taken control of the TARDIS, sending the Doctor and Sarah Jane Smith into dangerous territory. On the graveyard of the planet Khan, the Eternal Sisterhood fights to keep the Sacred Flame alive. High in the castle, a brilliant surgeon, Men Mehendre Solon, conducts, a, conducts gruesome experiments on living flesh. And as a storm approaches, evil from the depths of Time Lord history plots its return to the land of the living. But is the do but is even the doctor's mind a, a match from the brain of Morbius? Yeah, 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 he said it. Okay, enough of that. Family Guy reference. Um, commentary by Tom Baker, the Doctor, Elizabeth Sladen, Sarah Jane Smith, Philip Maddox, Solon, Philip Hinchcliffe, producer, and Christopher Barry, director. Getting ahead, a doc new documentary about the making of the program, featuring Christopher Barry, Philip Hinchcliffe. Writer Terran Sticks, designer Barry Newbury, composer Dudley Simpson, and actors Philip Maddock, Cynthia Grenville, Maram, Colin Fay Kondo, and Gillian Brown, and Gillian Brown, or Hika, with narration by Paul McGann. Designs on Khan, how the planet Khan was created with designer Barry Newbury. Set tour, take a walk around the studio sets with this 3D CGI reconstruction. Radio Times billings, listings from Radio Times, PDF, DVD, ROM, photo gallery, sketch gallery, coming soon trailer. I believe that's for now. I've forgotten what it's for, actually. Might be. Uh, nah, no, it's not. Uh, production information, subtitles, digital master picture, and sound quality. This story was originally broadcast on BBC One between 3rd of January and 24th of January 1976. Produced by Philip Hinchcliffe, directed by Christopher Barry. Uh, light line linear notes by Nile Boyce, covered by Clayton Hickman. Then inside we have, obviously, the main meat of the DVD. We got Production notes, chapter selection, it's a four part story. Information on people who commentary and special features inside. And then, 
We have the disc for Doctor Who, The Brain of Morbius. Right then, so... In case you're wondering why um, the produce the sorry the writer has such an unusual name, Robin Bland, which pretty much describes his writing as bland, which it really isn't. Well, it would be if he had actually existed, I think. Um, well, you see, Terence Dix wrote the original script for the Brain of Morbius, which was originally supposed to consist of. A relationship between a man, a human, and a machine, or something like that, according to the production notes, anyway. But script ed script editor Robert Holmes decided to change this and turn it into a story of a, you know, time lord wanting to resurrect himself. But Terence Sticks was really, really not happy with Bob Holmes' change, even though Bob Holmes is one of the best Doctor Who writers ever, and requested him to change the writer's name to something bland, and so we have Robin Bland. So, Robin Bland doesn't exist. This was written by Terence Sticks and Robert Holmes. So, yeah. But... Unlike Terence Dix, I actually think that Bob Holmes made a nice change to the script because this story is really, really good. Good story. Uh, I mean, we had the Sisterhood of Calm, which, who would obviously return for the Night of the Doctor with Paul McGann for a prequel to the Day of the Doctor and to see his regeneration to the War Doctor. Uh, the Sisterhood of Khan are quite. Well, I wouldn't say creepy, but they're quite threatening at the start of the story because they start off as enemies of the Doctor. But, well, not really enemies. They mistake the Doctor for something. But they've... they They're pretty fascinating, to be honest. Um, we also have Morbius, who will become a staple in the history of Doctor Who. Everyone's begging for to have Morbius back, and I don't blame them, because he was a very threatening villain. And uh, definitely up there with the Master as one of the greatest Time Lord threats that the Doctor has ever faced. Uh, and as well as that, we have uh, the, the... Spoilers here. The one famous scene... Later, I think it's in episode 4, where the Doctor's mind is battling Morbius' brain. And we see the first four incarnations of the Doctor, but we also see other uh, incarnations that could have possibly come before him. Which was, obviously, um, we assume that it's William Hartnell when he was younger, because it's pretty much confirmed now that William Hartnell was the first Doctor. So, yeah. But overall, a great, great story that you need to watch with a with brilliant writing by Terence Dix and Robert Holmes. And it's just it's just I can't really describe it, it's great. It's one it's one of those that you need to watch in you know, order to get how good it is. The story itself I probably give a solid nine out of ten. But the DVD release, the special features bump it up to a 10 out of 10 because there's loads of special features on here that, yeah, there's loads of special features on here to keep you busy and if, if you're into that kind of thing, you know, I just really buy it for the stories, hence why I bought Enemy, The Enemy of the World and The Web of Fear as soon as they came out. But still... Brain of Morbius, great story, and there's tons of special features on here to keep you busy if you are into, if you are looking for a decent amount of special features and good ones at that. So yeah, I give this DVD release a ten out of ten. Just if it wasn't for the special features, it'd be a nine, but it's a, it's a ten. It's a ten. One of the rare DVD releases I give a ten out of ten. So that's gonna be that. For now, guys, this is Mr. Doctor Who 13 saying we're out. Next up, we are going to be reviewing Time Lash. So I'll see you then.